Hi guys, Ru here from Blender Bros and in this video I'll show you how to create laser projection in Blender with regular lights. Let's get started. So you need only a few things and they're really, really simple. So you need a plane, all right? And uh, you need a light. So let's grab a light. So shift I and just a regular area light. Move it a little bit above the ground and let's just make it bigger and angle it a bit on uh, on x-axis and maybe a bit lower and you're gonna be good to go now the plane needs some texture so i'll turn with hard ops and add some texture because i can't be bothered doing vanilla let's up the roughness a bit and also i don't need metallic stuff here now i have a hdri plugged in here i'm gonna change the strength of it to uh, something low because it's a bit overpowering my light so you know 0 0.05 or something okay so really dark now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump the you know strength of this light to something a bit more tangible like that peachy now if you're interested in learning blender especially hard surface we've got a fantastic course for you and it's free so this course will tell you everything you need to know about starting with blender how to set up the ui how to understand all the menus how to start modeling how to operate with different tools basic modifiers how to render and how to create your first portfolio piece so you can start hunting for the dream job you always wanted the link to the course is in the video description and like i said the course is absolutely free enjoy so now what we need to do guys is we need to plug in a texture into that light okay so let's go to nodes and object right so shade design object and we're gonna click use nodes now with these nodes what we can do we can inject a, a texture into the light so shift a and add the image texture okay and we're gonna also add geometry nodes okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the parametric to vector and color to color or you could also go alpha to alpha right but in our case i'm going to use color to color now it changes purple because there's no texture so what we're going to do now is going to plug a texture now i prepared the texture before we start it all you need to do is go to photoshop or whatever program you're using type a text put it in the black background you know make the text white the uh, background black and you, you know you're good to go okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the texture in here, okay? So I click on the PNG and plug it in, right? Nothing happens. Now, the reason why nothing happens is because the light spread is way too big, okay? It's, if you look here on the beam shape, it's 180 degrees. So the light shines, you know, in 180 degrees. What you need to do is just basically collapse it to one degree and boom, there's your text projection, right? Now, if your text is rotated, you know, like this, right? All you need to do is, uh, you know, rotate your light to correct orientation and then simply scale it on correct axis and you got yourself laser projection. Now, the closer this light's going to get to the ground, okay, right, the sharper this projection is going to be and the further the light is, the softer it's going to be, right? It looks kind of like a, you know, sort of a projection on the soft screen. You can change color of this as well, but to do that, you will need to actually introduce some color into uh, the texture itself. So instead of making it white, you could make it, for example, yellow. And then what you can do is you can here between these nodes, you can plug the hue and saturation node, okay? Then you can change the hue and saturation. Now, in my case, it will not work because white color has no saturation. So I can do whatever the hell I want here. It's going to be white. But uh, if you're going to have some color in the texture, so the text will not be white, but it will be colored, then, you know, you will be able to change the hue here. Now, you could change color here, but, it, you know, the hue node will not affect it because, again, the texture is white and this hue node affects on the texture, not the color here. But uh, um, you could just simply, you know, change the, the um, color of the light itself through this node and create you know all kinds of different projection now the stronger the light is the more vivid the color is gonna be and uh you can create some really crazy you know uh, almost uh fluorescent you know uh, projections now, the best part about this uh, trick is that you know this is going to follow the surface so if i'm gonna bend the surface or for example you know bevel it or whatever right this text will follow the surface which is really awesome so it's kind of like a decal but you can move it, you know, rotate it, do whatever the hell you want with it. Then you, what you can do is Alt D to create an instance. And if you, up, you know, if you update one of these, the other is going to get updated as well. 
So there you go guys, that's how you create a cool laser-like projection in Blender using simple area lights. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.